So taking a closer look, so whenever the Alpha 1S is turned on, it becomes uh, very stiff, so you're not able to like move anything. And then taking a look at the sides here, everything is very, very solid built. Um, it's amazing how this looks like. The motors and everything, they look amazing. And the overall quality, it's like this thing, even if it's, it has dropped for me a few times, um, but nothing has happened to it. And uh, taking a look at the ports over here, so we do have the power, we do have the on and off switch, also the USB and the reset button here. And the battery life, you might be asking, Battery life is amazing as well. Um, you will get almost like an hour from a full charge, which uh, is incredible. Uh, considering the size of this and the weight of this, it's pretty amazing you're getting all that. So first thing you need to do is after you turn on the Alpha 1S is uh, download the app uh, from your app store, then open up the Alpha 1. Then it will go ahead and uh, search here. So we can, uh, first time you have to do is uh, scan until you find the Alpha 1S. But uh, next time you have it set up, you don't need to scan this again. You can just go My Robot and uh, History, click there and it will connect. So we do have the gamepad, create actions, which you can create your own actions and uh, actions which you can uh, download from and plus you have some saved already. And over at the left hand corner here, we do have uh, my favorites, my themes, settings, about pretty much your profile there. And on the upper right hand corner, we have the notification. Anything that's uh, coming out new, you will get here. So let's uh, take a look at the gamepad and what that can do. So before I have been playing with this uh, now for a few weeks, and uh, I only had soccer player, but now the app has updated and I have the gladiator as well here. So pretty much you're able to move. Uh, this is very responsive. As soon as I click, there's like a little latency, as you see here. It uh, moves uh, very fast. And uh, let's uh, try out something else here, a punch and it's uh, pretty cool when it starts doing this, it's amazing. Imagine you have two of these, so you can have a match. It's very cool. Oh, okay. So let's, uh, and also it can turn around, it can move uh, forward, backward, everything, and backward. It's pretty cool what this can do. It's amazing uh, how little this is and it can do all these moves. Um, so let's go back now. And we're gonna take a look at the actions. Here you're able to download actions which other people have created as well. So I'm gonna go online actions. As you can see here, we have a few. And this updates as well. And we have dance. And then we do have some stories here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dance right now. So I'm gonna just play the first one here. I already downloaded this. So let's uh, go ahead and play this. So right now I also have downloaded the a story mode here, which is Alice in Wonderland. So let's go ahead and hit play on that. Alice in Wonderland. One summer afternoon, Alice was sitting under a tree and reading books with her sister. 
Suddenly, a rabbit with glasses passed by and dropped a fan and a pair of gloves. Alice picked them up and chased after it, but the rabbit did not pay attention to her calling. Then Alice saw the rabbit pop down a large hole. She followed it without thinking too much. So that's the story mode, Adler. It's a very cool. You can download the many story modes here, which are available, and they get updated frequently as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the create action here. So whenever you have to do that, you would need to lay the Alpha 1S down because everything will loosen up. So if you don't do that, every, like it will drop. Right now we're going to take a look at the actions. So you have to lay the Alpha 1S down because everything will loosen up. So right now I'm in the menu here. So right now everything is loose, so I'm able to move uh, every part. So let's say it's down here, I want to click add, then I want to move the arm up and do this. I can just go add again, but this action, I can have as much timing as I want. I can make this to go super fast or super slow. So let's uh, try it out. I'll show you guys here. So let's uh, go up here. Okay, that's the first option we set up. So the second option, play. As you saw that, that's very cool, it's how fast that is. But wait, it can even go faster. So let's just put it to the original positioning here. So right now, play. It's very fast, as you saw that. It's, it's very incredible how the, there's like a very little latency. As soon as I click on my smartphone, it uh, interacts right away. It's very nice. So let's uh, go ahead and put the robot this way so you can see more clear. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another action here. And uh, add, and we're gonna put this leg up here. Add. And uh, let's go ahead and hit play now from the beginning. It's uh, pretty cool. You can uh, pretty much do anything you want with this. You can set it up to do anything you want, which is very cool and very fun to do as well. Uh, whenever you feel like your Alpha 1S uh, needs some exercise, you can uh, go ahead and do this. <laughs> and it will start doing some nice push-ups there. Oh, and look at that one hand. <laughs> and then it gets back up again, which is very cool. So from the PC software here, so once you connect everything, you just go connect to robot, then it will be connected as easy as that. Then here you have a 3D layout, so you can see exactly what you're doing. And then down here, so as you see here, when I start moving things, they move in real time with the robot. So let's just go ahead and move this. And it moves as much as you want here. Then you're able to add a sequence here add music, then pretty much you get the whole story here. You're able to make a storyline here or do whatever you want. Any move you want, you can make from here, which uh, works out very well. 
and then you're able to save your moves so you can continue later on. Then on the left hand side here we do have some default actions we can use, which you can just uh, drag and drop. Then you can just hit play and it will go to that sequence as you see there. Pretty much you're able to do what we did with the smartphone but this you're doing through the software here which we, you can see up here moving as well. So whatever you see up here, it will move over here, so which is great. You can also set up uh, an action, then you can just connect the robot afterwards and just sync everything, which uh, works out very well.